Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. TGIF, okay? Anyways, welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. So I want to come on here and talk about all the mess, honey, that went down yesterday on social media, particularly Instagram. A lot of you guys wanted to break down, so I'm going to go ahead and do it here via YouTube and the podcast, okay? So yesterday was very interesting. I had did my live stream, and um, as we all knew, Friday at midnight, Nicki Minaj and Takashi 69 were going to drop their song, Trolls. So before this, a bunch of drama was kicking up on social media. First out of the blue, nobody, nobody at all. Future comes out of nowhere and basically wishes death on both Nikki and 6 9 because he feels like Nikki is wrong for hanging with a snitch. I'm not going to read Future's whole rant. I'm just going to get to the meat and potatoes. So this is what Future wrote. He says, verses for free, did videos for free, embrace niggas. I should have never dapped up them clowns. They behind my back because they want to be me from rappers to trappers, etc. Secretly admiring and hating at the same time. I gave you more than you gave yourself. These hoes plotting just for attention. These niggas know better. At the end of the day, you work for the police, rat. I believe if you hang with a snitch, you a snitch and deserve to die. But that's just me. Honey, I, I, you know what? I'm going to need Future to, you know, go back to school. You know what I mean? Because his shit just be all over the damn place. He just gets mad and just gets to, you know, typing and shit. Shit don't make no sense. I mean, I, any damn way. The point is, he basically says that if you hang with a rat and you hang with a snitch, you deserve to die, okay? All that extra shit, whatever. You know, y'all know how I feel about Future, okay? Mr. Future needs to go ahead, take care of all them damn babies he keeps having, and make sure that they're straight, okay? He needs to worry about that lawsuit that that loud-ass baby mama, you know what I'm saying, Eliza Rain, has put on him, you know what I mean? So he needs to focus on that. If anybody's snitching, it's her telling all your damn business to social media. So now, if that's not crazy enough, after, you know, Future's foolish rant, uh, Kaya. Kaya came out of nowhere and got the dragon Nicki Minaj on Twitter. So Kaya says, we the people versus Nicki Van Dykes. You are being charged with doing anything for clout, like Cardi B says. You are living with the pedo and now working with the pedo and a well-known snitch. This is why God hasn't blessed you with any children. You make bad decisions. Then she goes on to say, no, bitch, I'm not a fan of Nikki Van Dyke. She's a fan of mine. She wanted to sponsor my show and make a deal with me for Queen's Court. I didn't like that hoe then, and I don't like that hoe now. Then she goes on to say, we the people say Petty can't be around no kids, so how he gonna have a kid? Then she says, first you said you was retiring, now you're working with a snitch. You bipolar ass bitch horror, you on the docket. Then last but not least, she says, you out here talking about Black Lives Matter, but you out here working with a man that snitched on black men. You cannot be trusted, Nick Van Dukes. So when I tell you social media was dragging Nicki Minaj yesterday, okay, folks was coming for her. So because so many folks were coming for her, her and 6 9 decided to go live together and address people who had something to say about her working with the snitch and everything else. But before they went live together, 6 9 did like an 18-minute live where he basically called out Uncle Snoop for being a snitch. He called out Meek Mill and Desiree Perez. Now, that Desiree Perez T, for all us old heads, that's nothing new. We've been known her snitching ass was running Rock Nation. Hell, choke, no joke, been talking about that for years. So that wasn't new to people like us who already know but what I find very interesting is I really feel like with his rant everything that 6 9 was saying he was it's almost like he was saying he was speaking in the words of Nikki it's almost like everything that Nikki was telling him He's speaking. He's saying stuff that she refuses to say. You know, all the stuff about Meek Mill's looks and, you know, Nikki taking Meek on tour. And that was, you know, Nikki's tour. We already established that when Drake said it in the freestyle. But if you really peep the way he's talking, I feel like a lot of that energy is coming from Nikki. 
I feel like Nikki's really upset because Rock Nation supports Meek Mill. And Meek Mill has blasted her and they've gotten into it on social media. The fact that he went so deep to go at Rock Nation and pull all the snitch stuff. Because a lot of the young kids, they don't know about that. So the fact that he went so deep lets me know that there's definitely some animosity, some real animosity there with Rock Nation, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and the whole gambit, okay? And Takashi 6 9 is basically being used, you know what I mean, to basically spill that tea because he has no filter and he has no care in the world. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out his rant and what he had to say. I'm not going to play the whole 18 minutes, but I'm going to play the most important parts. So y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'll be uh, right back. There's so many rats in this rap game. I got a list. I'm gonna go down the list. This whole live, I'm gonna go down the whole, the whole list, right? Listen, you can't pick and choose who you call rats. Meek, you're a fucking rat. Now let's go. Back. Now, who's next on the list? Listen, future, you don't take care of your kids, right? You can't compare me to you because I can't have no communication with my my baby mom was having sexual relations with my co defendants. I'm gonna stay away till I'm off house arrest, right? Something you don't know about. You rap about all his drugs. Never got arrested for drug offense. It's facts. L hear what I just said. You rap about Molly, Perks, and all this shit. Never got locked up for no drug offense. I don't need Drake so I could have a platinum single. I don't need Drake. You and Meek Mill need Drake for every song y'all do so y'all could chart. Don't act like Meek didn't have to suck Drake's dick, bulls, and dick all in his mouth just so he could have a career again. Cause after Drake released back to back, you went under. You 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 became a you became Martin Luther King. I'm the most hottest rapper. You can't go on live right now and get 800k. You can't. Everybody wanna talk rap, 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 rap. Why can't you outdo the rap? Everybody wanna say rap, rap, rap. Outdo the rap. Cause I did this without features. What I'm doing with Nicki right now, and that's because I love her and I got mad respect for her. I did it on my own. You know this? Before I became a rat, I did it on my own. Made you you, nigga. No bitch wanted to fuck you, nigga. Did you, did you forget who you was? Listen, I forgot what Drake said. What did Drake say? He said, is that some shit like, is that your tour or your girl's tour? That was never your tour, homie. Listen, you was put on by Nicki Minaj. And you rolling with rats now, but you know what? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody is gonna, nobody is gonna be like, yo, nobody's gonna expose this. You're, you're with a rat every day. You're with a rat every day. You're with a rat. Your prison reform, your bail reform is with a rat. Oh no, she wasn't street. She was selling kilos of cocaine. Think about that. Think about it. So if you chilling with a rat, right? Makes you a rat. You, sir, future, meek, you're a fucking rat. Let me play this back for you real quick. Boom. 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 Perez struck a deal with the feds agreeing to wear hidden wires to record her meetings with major cocaine traffickers. Her undercover informant work won her the courtroom praise for the federal prosecutors. Listen, y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all don't want people to expose this. Y'all like, damn, nobody's going to expose this because you know what? If we all go against 6 9 if we all go against 6 9 if we all go against them right now, if we all go against them, nobody will ever air out our truth. Nobody. And that's facts. You don't think nobody will ever talk about it. Let me see who's next on the list. Listen, for, for Snoop Dogg, I'm on you now, right? For Snoop Dogg, you want to talk all this rat shit. I exposed you already. You you hit me up in the DM talking about throwing the white flag, please, please, just something. Like this. You talk some straight old hat shit, straight old hat shit. Listen, hear me out when I say this. You can't get mad at me. You can't get mad at me for exposing the truth, right? Because for the two years that I was locked up, for the two years that I was locked up, you know what y'all said? Y'all aired me out the whole time. For the two years y'all had me, y'all aired me out. 
uh, uh, me out, me out. I'm just replying. And All right, so you guys just heard what 6 9 had to say. You guys heard the bits and pieces, the different people that he basically called out. So then um, eventually Nicki Minaj jumped on the live stream. Now, what I find very funny is that Nicki actually addressed her husband, who was the first person on social media, you know what I'm saying, before all of this. Because remember, I went live earlier in the day, like around 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I talked about the gang situation. And I basically said, if her husband is a blood, how does this work? You know what I'm saying? Because 6 9 snitched on a bunch of bloods. So how, how does this work with just if you look at it from a game perspective? I spoke on this hours ago. So I found it very, very telling that Nikki made sure to address that part of the situation. Now check out what Nikki had to say when confronting people about her working with Takashi Snitch 9. Go ahead and check this out. 10 minutes. I, I want to say something about this whole rap situation. Go ahead. Um... I feel like this is the music business and um, and I think we're confusing the two. So it's like when I talk about people not write, writing rap, that's the, that's the music business issue. Somebody else could be like, oh, I don't care about that if somebody write their raps. That's their prerogative because they're not in my business. Mm -hmm. they, didn't, they didn't blood, sweat, and tears and grind it out so they don't, you know, have to feel a certain way like I do. My take on it is I feel street niggas have every right to feel how they want to feel about snitching because they live that life. That's a fact. I feel rappers need to play it easy because everybody mingles and, and you know, integrates with everybody. And if a, and if a top executive rap call one of y'all unsigned rappers right now, sign y'all, y'all signing. Yo, so, say it louder. Say it louder. So I didn't hear not, you. We not gonna say that part louder. I ain't hear you. Say that part louder. If a rap executive do what? Call y'all a sign. Y'all sign it. So, so let's 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 be clear, be clear when we talk about rappers versus street niggas. It's uh -huh. rappers that put sh guns. They ain't never bust a, a day in their life and their music all the motherfucking time. So we're not talking about rappers. I feel street niggas have a right to feel how they want to motherfucking feel because they in the feel. Mm -hmm. And 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 you know I'm not on the block with six nine. Mm -hmm. Me and six nine is not on the block. We in the music business. So mm -hmm. you rappers is in rooms all the time with people with sketchy hats. And I'm not judging anybody because that's just I'm not doing that. I have nothing but respect for so many of these people, and I would never fix my face to talk crazy about them. My husband doesn't fuck with. The snitch culture. My husband is just like, you know, I can't fuck with that. And he ha and I respect him because he, he he's lived a different life. But y'all want to make it rap one minute and streets the next minute. Y'all want to talk about people not writing their raps one minute and then do songs with people that don't write raps the next minute. But if somebody talk about the integrity of hip hop, then it's a problem. But y'all can talk about the integrity of the streets and not snitching. Well, we not on the block. None of you niggas is on the block. If these niggas are still out there doing what they doing and banging and really living that life, want to talk about it, I have to respect it. We all got to respect it because they play by a different code. And mm -hmm. everybody can't speak on that. But as far as rappers... Cut it out. Yeah, rappers got to just play it, Cut it out. easy because y'all know that y'all bend the rules for different, for certain people. Listen, Nikki, Nikki, they pick and okay choose. Anymore. All right, so you guys just heard what Nicki Minaj had to say. You know, now all of a sudden it's about money and it's business and nobody's really out there in the streets and, you know, everything's a facade. And I agree with her. I, I don't deny that a lot of these rappers front and talk about a lifestyle that they've never ever lived and they perpetuate bullshit that they've never ever been through. But the unfortunate part is a lot of young kids, they don't know that and they think that that is the way to live and, and that is the lifestyle that you should obtain and you know, you should be out here thugging, selling drugs and gang banging. At the end of the day, you're no different than these male rappers that you're calling out. You too have perpetuated a bunch of nonsense, you know what I'm saying? And now that you're being caught out on it, now you want to peel back the onion and talk about well, all these people are fake and all these these people are not in the streets and you know they're not really living that lifestyle so I just found that really interesting so then after all that drama and hoopla 
the video finally debuts, okay? And it got a ton of views. Um, I checked it out. Nikki definitely had some bars in the song. Once again, she's talking about people not writing their own lyrics and their own music. And she also threw a lot of shade at Usher. Because remember, Usher came out a few weeks ago and basically was saying that you cannot compare Nikki and Little Kim. Little Kim is in her own lane. And her barbs attacked Usher. So she definitely dropped that diss line um, about Usher. And then she also went in on Lisa Ray because Lisa Ray had agreed with Usher. And, of course, her fans attacked Lisa Ray as well. So she, you know, definitely threw some digs at Lisa Ray by saying, dollar, dollar bill, come get her. Dollar bill, come get her. Even your man know Nikki's do it better. Are the Bobs still chasing you around? Are they still leaving comments? Know, right? Let me tell you, I didn't know what the hell they were, first of all. Let me just be honest, okay? And so I, and I didn't know that they were coming after me. Vivica Fox is the one that called and she texted me. She says, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, are you okay? You know, and she said, <laughs> she's like, well, you know, for, I said, from what? She said, all oh, the comments. I said, comments from who? Where? She said, the Barb's. I said, who the hell is the Barb's girl? She said, <laughs> Nicki Minaj fans. I said, I don't know them and they don't know me. You know, so I go on there. I said, where do I find it? So I go on there and about maybe 25 comments in. I was like, I don't give a damn about this because I don't. You know what I mean? I'm way above anybody that want to come after somebody that they don't know, want to misappropriate what I said and take it out of content. I, I don't have time to be fighting that kind of fight because we are fighting a real fight right now. You know what I mean? And so, but I didn't want to denounce them or in, exclude them. And so she definitely, you know, kicked some stuff. But what I noticed at the end of that rap, she also once again said that that real ass ain't bringing nigga home. That's the second time that she said that line. We first heard that line when she did the remix with Doja Cat. And now she's saying it again. And I really feel like that line is towards Beyonce. I feel like it's towards Beyonce because Jay-Z is her husband and, you know, the whole Rock Nation connection and all the drama with Desiree Perez and them siding with Meek Mill. I really feel like that's who that line is about. That's my personal feeling. It is what it is. But, you know, overall, I thought the song was decent. I didn't like 6 ix part at all. It was just loud all over the place. It's almost like he was just there just to be there. I felt like she really could have did that entire song by herself. And it would have been a bop to most people. But with him being on there, I just, the energy was just weird, okay? So now let's fast forward to today. So Zillia Banks comes out and she definitely has an opinion, honey. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.